What's up, y'all? So I picked this uh, iExpand mini flash drive up uh, for iPhone, iPad, and computers. It's a 32 gigabyte. Uh, I'm just always looking for a way to free up memory on my iPhone. I had brought another one, but it was actual like um, the lightning, like the lightning plug into the phone, and then it had the spot where SD card or uh, a micro SD card to go into it and it didn't it, it's not working too well so I decided to pick this one up. I can't think of the name of the other one uh, if I have a picture of it on my phone or if I can find a picture of it like on uh, walmart.com I insert it in uh, in the video but I wasn't having too good of a luck with that I liked it because you could put a SD card into it so whatever card well, you could put a SD card into it or a micro SD. So the amount of um, space on it was unlimited because it was the matter of you plugging your micro SD in there. But it seemed like it would only accept up to certain sizes. So that one wasn't working too well. So I'm going to do an unboxing of this one. I guess I'll read everything on, uh, on it. It says plug in, open app, and free up space. So I guess I gotta download the app. It said three easy steps. Plug your iExpand mini flash drive into your iPhone. Download the iExpand drive app at the prompt. Copy photos and videos to the iExpand mini flash drive. It says automatically back up your camera rolls, social media photos, and videos. It says high speed 3.0 transfer to and from your computer. Play 4K Ultra HD videos in all popular formats. It says connect connector fits with most uh, cases. So it's taking in consideration that you might have a case on your phone and you won't have to uh, take the case out of your phone to use this SanDisk uh, iExpand mini flash drive. All they had was a 32 gigabyte at Walmart when I brought it. I wish they would have had a bigger size. I also almost brought that... Uh, it was a SanDisk uh, SSD, like a very portable size one. I think that one was about, it was 500 gigabytes, but that one was about, was it $80? I was close, I was this close to getting it y'all, but I decided to go with this. I recently got my computer back up and working, but I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how to manage my storage on my devices. I've got my, uh, I know I'm rambling on, but I got my DJ Osmos Action. So I'm just trying to figure out how to manage my, uh, manage the space, you know, that I have for my videos and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I guess uh, I do like a screen recording of me where I have the app downloaded and just going in there and trying to transfer some stuff. I added in at the end of this video. So let's go and open it up. See if I can open it up. It looked like this because <laughs> look all corroded because I've been outside uh working on, on my uh on the project S10. I didn't record it, but I think I got a few more videos I need to upload, you know, pertaining to the project S10. Okay, let me quit rambling and go and open this up, y'all. Let's see if I can. They cut it right there, but it's already. I did bloopers. That would have been a blooper. <laughs> it's almost out of there. Come on out of there. Ooh. 
That's cool. They got a uh, like a covering for the. Let's see if I can slide it out of here. Got a covering for the lightning adapter, so that's pretty cool. And then on the other side, you just plug it straight into your computer. So let me download the app and stuff, and I just uh, probably insert a little clip of me transferring some files. All right, y'all. <laughs> Thank you.